Hold up, GT6 was just slicked on TikTok. A video showing what looks like a backstreet of Vice City has fans going wild, but before you get too hyped, it's fake. The footage features an Amazon delivery when, but here's the thing, Rockstar doesn't use real-world brands like that. Plus, sharp-eyed viewers spotted Unreal Engine 5 assets in the clip, but Rockstar is using their own Rage Engine, not Unreal Engine 5. While the video might be a high effort fake, don't be fooled, this lick isn't the real deal, stay alert for official updates. But now we are gonna look at some real information that we have and some theories and suggestions on this video. First of all, we are starting with a theory for, the, for what they'll do with the Circo Loco records. For those who don't know, Rockstar has a music label called Circo Loco and they have been putting out some pretty great house music with some pretty big artists all year. Big in their respective genres, uh, which is mainly Deep House. This isn't even music for for GT fans, it's super big house music for DJs. Half of my DJ friends know these songs and had no idea they were released through Rockstar Games LOL, so obviously Circa Loco is going to have its own radio station with its songs they've been releasing all year. But I really think Circa Loco will be a whole entity in GTA 6, maybe running some missions for some sketchy label rap or some crashed out artists. I also think they'll do a spin on Ultra Music Fest a huge EDM festival in Miami, and I think they'll t make it Circo Loco fast or something. Obviously all speculation, but given how seriously Rockstar is taking Circo Loco, I feel they like uh, have plans to tie it into the GT somehow, especially given how big Mahou's music is in Miami. Surf has been talked about before, but I've personally never seen anyone mention this. Had to repause this because I edited in some links to Circo Loco music and Automat clapped me so you can just check it out uh, check out the links down uh, on uh, the reddit and check out for more next up we go for weaponized lucia art and this one looks amazing and I feel like the closer we get to the game release, the more art and more interesting stuff we will see. Because if Rockstar do not deliver, fans will deliver for sure. Geopolitics in GTA 6. This is if there are foreign countries in the game, like Cuba or maybe South American region, what would the relationships with the US government be like? There's the possibility of foreign interventions and peacekeeping missions in other countries. Now Lucia and Jason could get caught up in those events, kind of like John in Mexico in Red Dead Redemption when he played on both sides in Civil War. It seems like something Rockstar could mold well into the storyline. Guys, what do you think must be changed here? Combat skills, Jason. Driving skills, Jason. Styles, Lucia. Tactical intelligence, Jason. Charisma, Lucia. Lucia, gun proficiency Jason, criminal expertise Lucia, negotiation skills Lucia, loyalty Jason, leadership Lucia, resilience Lucia, resurfacefulness Lucia, street smarts Lucia, bravery Jason, hacking ability Lucia, marksmanship Jason, quick reflexes Lucia, improvisation Jason, uh, undercover skills Lucia, escape techniques Lucia, networking influence planning are Lucia, conflict resolution Weekle customization are Jason, heist planning Lucia, combat strategy Jason, agility Lucia, int intelligence Lucia, and adaptability is Jason. And that's kind of what a suggestions on their skills uh, is from one of the Redditors. Next up we got the expanding world GT6 theory. I predict that GT6 universe will add an additional CD every year or two for the next decade plus. It will not only make the game more compelling, but it will add significant forms of new revenue to Rockstar and this new revenue alone is why I'm so confident it will happen. Here's my logic and reasoning. I think there are clues left for us in GT5 and Reddit 2 that strongly support the theory and I'm going to go through them and try to be brief. LOL, but obviously once I start thinking down this road, I could very easily write pages and pages of basic pre premises that all fall into line and make perfect sense for Rockstar's financial incentives and business model as a successful gaming company. 
Clue number one, Reddit 2's not really necessary world diversity. Note, I'm not being critical here, but Reddit 2 could have been built with far fewer world and ecological tile sets and very little lost from the game. My theory here goes that Rockstar created these diverse assets in such a higher quality than required for Reddit 2, knowing they would all be available for use in GT6 as well, in a higher quality form, whatever the consoles of the future can handle. Think about it, most traditional westerns uh, take place in American vast and prairie regions, but Reddit 2 also includes expensive swamps obviously created for GT6 for Florida. Snowy peaks of the Rocky Mountains, extensive Arizona, Utah Mesas, Desert Land, Monument Valley, which yes, some uh, westerns have been featured in. My point here is that Rockstar went to great effort to add these ecological zones of the Earth when they didn't absolutely have to, so I expect them to use the assets again in GTA 6. Evidence this has already happened comes in the form of the walking in deep snow animation from Yon Norse Youngton matching almost pre precisely the Reddit 2 walking in deep snow animation, snow physics, and I'm suggesting here that Norris Youngton was the rough draft for Reddit 2's deep snow areas. Clue number 2, Guarma and Cayo Perico assets. Reddit 2 was released October of 2018 and Cayo Perico Heist was released in December of 2020. Tropical islands, to my knowledge, have never appeared in westerns and while some assets of Cayo Perico like palm trees were recycled from GT5 when building Cayo Perico both Guarma and Perico share many foliage assets uh, that, that uh, don't appear elsewhere in Reddit 2 or GTA 5. I don't think anyone will conclude it's controversial to suggest that there are two worlds were built with assets that were actually built primarily for GTA 6. And that what we see in Kayo and Guarma are simply optimized for the gore hardware of each of those games versions of GTA 6 assets. Clue number 3, Guarma, Kayo Perico and North Youngton as external locations. Alright, so these three locations show that Rockstar has experimented with off-world occasions, for lack of better term. Cayo Perico, you fly to a zone in the south of Los Santos and an animation lands you on the island. Even though it's only part of Heist and the Guarma and Yorn or Youngton are part of single player, it suggests to me that Rockstar is planning for this game mechanic to become a fundamental part of the future of their series. We know Rockstar has had this in the back of their mind as self a long time, and GT6, uh, I mean, in GT San Andreas had quick travel in the form of flying between the airports of Las Venturas, San Fierro, and Los Santos. Clue 4, GTA 5 Online is the most profitable open world gaming live service in world history. Why does it make so much money? The constant streams of DLC highs, multiplayer modes, businesses, random events, collectibles, payphone hits, time trials, new vehicles, new weapons, properties, and seasonal holiday events. I know this one isn't controversial at all, but let's Let's take this to its next logical conclusion. New free roam cities with their own properties, businesses and possessions. Okay, now let's talk about Rockstar's motivation. Why do you do this? Answer, because it would be awesome and that means money from Rockstar. Some players feel that the Oppressor Mark II ruined GTA Online. Some say all the weaponized vehicles ruined GTA Online. There are many different perspectives here, and I'm not going to debate them, but as a returning player who hadn't played GTA 5 in many years, I recently noticed some scenes some of the new missions, many of them actually disable those assets, can call in your M KE2, helicopter boards, etc. Some even take away your guns. To me, the obvious solution here is new cities. What if in uh, GT6, when you go to a new city, you can take your guns, cars, helicopters, and oppressor to it? You bring money, sure, but now you have to buy a new apartment, you have to buy a new car, etc. Each new city could have its own GT Online metagame. Remember, GT5 Online before the Guarma? Many said when, uh, I mean, uh, before the Kurama. Uh, Kuruma, many said when the Kuruma was added that it ruined GT Online for them. Each city could be its own set of maximum vehicles or maximum weapon. Same as when you go on vacation in a new location IRL, you don't just magically have all of your possessions with you when you get there. Starting players over lets Rockstar dictate the metagame of each place. If Lenita has jets and oppressors, maybe Puerto Rico does not. Lenita has supercars and helicopters, perhaps Cuba but doesn't. Rockstar can literally create each new city with prices uh, precisely the player assets or lack thereof that they want. 
And from Rockstar's perspective, they get to sell us all of those things again. You want to free roam in Puerto Rico, buy a condo and a new car. You want to participate in a drug smuggling business in the Caribbean, buy a plantation, vehicles, uh, weapons, etc. on that new island. Just imagine Cayo Perico being slightly larger, with a resort community of the North End. Buy a condo there, maybe a business related to tourism or offshore banking related white collar crime. Literally, there's no limit here. Cayo Perico was such a massive hit that I see it as a near certainty that we are headed for this. So, my predictions on likely locations in a GT6 expanding universe. Puerto Rico, Cuba, Caribbean. Low-hanging fruit obviously was assets from Cayo Perico, Reddit 2 and GT6. Somewhere snowy was a Rocky Mountains feel. Reddit 2 assets. Arizona, Utah, New Mexico perhaps with a Breaking Bad style feel. Reddit 2 assets. Somewhere with a military base. There are just so many military assets added to GT5 in the past 3-4 years. Somewhere temperate, temperate like the default tile set and foliage of Reddit too. Possibly Spain, Portugal or Central America. Some similar architecture here as that which is common in the Caribbean and assets could be reused. This is why I think GT6 is taking so long. I think they have used Reddit 2 and GT5 online as a means to profit off those assets today, while building all the greatest and most expensive GT game ever and bonus is waiting for 4K to be the standard on the consoles. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to build out a game that will be life for a decade plus. If the starting point is art that is optimized for only 1080p like GT5 was. My prediction on when the first new CD will drop in GT6 is one year from the date of the release of GT6 online. And it will be fun to see how much of this prediction comes true and I'm super excited about the future of this game series. And back to the lick. Just the next GT6 lick on TikTok Reel. A new video on TikTok is starting to make the rounds for showing supposed footage of GT6. Since revealing GT6 late last year, Rockstar Games has yet to follow up with a second trailer or any additional footage. When this will change remains to be seen. In the absence of this though, fake leaks are starting to pop up on social media and elsewhere. The latest is a high effort leak that is fooling some granted out of fans, but it is indeed fake. The leak, which can be seen below, features what looks like Backstreet of Vice City, complete with lots of graffiti cars and palm trees. At first glance, it looks like it could be from GT6, but there are some giveaways that reveal it is fake. First of all, there is what is supposed to be Amazon delivery when, of course, there would be never actual replica of Amazon delivery when in the game due to the various legal and licensing issues. However, it wouldn't be beyond Rockstar Games to parody it. However, flipping the Amazon Prime Arrow, uh, Arrow logo upside down wouldn't be sufficient enough. It would almost certainly land Rockstar Games in illegal trouble. Further, when Rockstar Games parodies famous brands, it is much more subtle about it. More damning than this, the those with a trained eye can spot Unreal Engine 5 assets in the footage, including the Unreal Engine 5 world grade material inside the car. GT6 is not being made in Unreal Engine 5, but Rockstar Games own a Rage Engine. So while it is clear a lot of effort went into this fake leak, it is nothing more than a fake leak. To end this, uh, it is not the first fake GT6 leak, and it won't be the last one, but it's receiving more attention than previous fake leaks. But that is just because it is more believable than these other previous leaks. That's all the information we got on today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one, and peace.